Uh, we've been in this building about 25 years, about nine years ago. We added a little bit to it, now it's around uh, 15,000 square feet, 15, 16,000. And um, it's kind of the state of the art. We designed the cylinder head for racing, for machine shop and dyno, dynamometer. And then uh, the last year, year and a half, uh, billet has come a long ways. And most of the time we see the billet really don't make more horsepower. It's just they are more durable, and that's the bottom line. Uh, your combustion chamber, you know, if you want it thick, you can do that with billet. You can make it thin. You can do whatever. That's the advantage of, of billet. But again, if you duplicated a cast aluminum it doesn't make any more power but under like nitrous oxide you can have a, oh gosh a violent detonation put it this way nitrous oxide is more violent in detonation than an alcohol supercharge and it's not forgiving so that's where a, a Aluminum billet head comes in uh, under under violent conditions. It looks like that the billet can withstand some, uh, I'd say, uh, violent detonation and leanness, and that's that's what you see. And then it's easy to rebuild over cast aluminum. And uh, again, they don't make any more power, but you know, we won championship pro stock, championship in pro modified, and over the weekend we won pro stock and nitrous at PDRA, and all of those were cast aluminum. So this is Michael. He's our engineer here, and uh, he's doing all the development here on the 5.3 uh, Hemi cylinder head. He's working on currently here. Michael does takes care of everything in the CNC department and a lot of the development work we do with all our new cylinder heads such as our 5.3 wedge water cylinder heads, the 4.900 bore space hemi billet heads we do for jam sand and uh, pretty much all our truck pole heads, sportsman heads, uh, everything comes through him back here on the development and big asset to the company and uh, does a great job for us. Right now we're working on the 5.3 billet Promod heads that we come out with, uh, with water, their latest design uh, billet head for all the Promod stuff. It's a pretty nice new cylinder head that we've developed in-house here and uh, got, got quite a few orders for them so we're just uh, getting them on the CNC machine so we can uh, get them on out the door to our customers. These are some of the cylinder heads that we have that are qualified here that will go out to the customers. We've got from a 5 inch wedge to a 5.3 five inch hemis, um, did all the cylinder heads for Mercury Marines, so we've got all the 1075 Merc heads that we do, so people call up after years on the ocean and stuff for replacement heads years down the road, so they'll call us for those uh, replacement heads that we had done for Mercury. Here we have the 4900 billet hemi heads for the uh, Pro Modified Division in the NHRA. These particular heads here are for Mike Janus, uh, Jansen Motorsports. Uh, we've been working with them on this new uh, cylinder head and stuff. It's been showing really good results. So uh, Mike sells them to his customers, and Mike's got an exclusive with Sunny, so uh, we do those for him. And, uh,
turned out really nice. <laughs> the uh, cast aluminum heads, uh, all of them have a process of hipping. And hipping is a very, very, very good option. Uh, this, they take it in a chamber up to 900 degrees, it gets soft and pressurized, and then it will force, it will force the gases and porosity inside come to the surface. So then it's stronger and it's dense. And then, of course, they, they're real scaly on the outside after they do that process. So then they sandblast it and then they will heat treat them. So pretty neat. This is Steve in our cylinder head department. This is where a lot of the stuff gets done in the cylinder heads for after they come off of the CNC machine, get put together, heads get repaired. They'll come in here first and head to the port room where they get welded and back to the CNC for the machine shop. And this is kind of the final area here where Steve's at that the heads uh, get put together and taken up for the new engines we're building out there or uh, freshen ups for our customers. This is the manifold department. This is Randy. Him and Josh are the ones that build the manifolds in-house. Uh, try to keep everything in-house there so we can do a lot of research and development and kind of try to always keep an edge on the competition. So try to do as much stuff in-house as we can here. And this is uh, one of the rooms for the manifold. So we work on them in here where Randy's at. And this is where we got our plates and everything for the runners. Billet runners we've got, and we've got Josh over there that's welding up a manifold as we speak. Josh is here welding up one of our billet runner intakes here for a hemming project we're working on. Here we got Bill in here that's uh, flowing a 4900 Chrysler Hemi head that he's been working on here for a customer project that we're working on. Obviously that's at the top, but you can see the different step ups. You start at the bottom. You just caught me at the tail end of the test. These are set on 100,000 increments. This is a solid stand setup, so you don't have to adjust it with a dial. You just drop the spring down, put the next step spacer in there, and flow it. It's a lot faster that way. Yeah, there's more to flowing heads in Bill's department. He's flowing the cylinder heads here, over here on the cylinder heads. We've got some Hemi's that are coming to him after they've come off the CNC and got the seats guides put in them, Bill will go through here and clean them all up from what the CNC machine couldn't get to or to find and polish them. <laughs> well they all require different levels of finishing work. Some some have big valve options, some have smaller valves, different ports. So they're not all the same. Sunny has a lot of different applications. I mean it's, it's a lot to keep up with. <laughs> and here we've got the 5.3 Hemi uh, billet runner manifold here we're doing some work to it and then over here we've got a truck pull cylinder head we're doing some stuff to it for our truck pulls for the NTPA and it's been real successful. So, stays plenty busy in here and uh, we keep this door closed the port room and stuff keep all the dust and particles and stuff from coming out into the shop and we're working on some other projects out, out here. I have a lot of good people work for me a lot of them's been with me 22 to 30 years and they you know, 16 of us, and hell, I remember starting out with just me. And it was really hard, man. I didn't think I was going to make it. But anyway, if you've got dedication and desire and love to work and love what you do, I'm proof that you can do that. I didn't go to college, so I, you know, I, uh, I worked extremely hard. I, I read a lot of books and done a lot of trial and error, of course now we call it R&D, and uh, so we, we're very fortunate, we've done cylinder head development for different people in drag racing, done a little cylinder head development with uh, a company down in North Carolina um, in cup racing, so uh, it's, it's just been really good, I've had a lot of good people working for me, 
and I'm blessed and I could, don't have a lot of money, but I could retire. I'm, but I love what I do and I've met so many good people and it's a pleasure to get around them. And now we went to um, truck pull, four wheel drive truck pull. I think we got 21 or 22 customers in, in truck pull and nicest folks I've ever met or farmers. And uh, again, I'm blessed and I just want to work because I like my customers. If I didn't have good customers, I'd just quit. This is Herb. He does all the block machine work, toning, assembly, disassembly. Pretty much can do a bunch of the stuff around the shop here. He's clearance in a block for rod clearance right now. How long have you been here, Herb? Off and on. Together. Uh, together, eight years. So he's a recent hire then. Yeah, that's right, eight years, yeah. <laughs> We've got four different stalls here for assembly and disassembly. Chuck is here finishing up a 615 cubic inch top sportsman engine that we're doing. Chuck's been here for how many years, Chuck? 23 years. 23 years altogether. So uh, he can do machine work, assembly, disassembly, um, pretty much anything that needs to be done in the shop, Chuck can handle. So this one we put some new cylinder heads on, new intake manifold. And Customer's going to run some top sportsman with it and uh, should be ready to hit the dyno here tomorrow. Here we got another truck pull engine that we're just putting back together that Rusty's assembling. We'll go on the dyno here in the next day or two. Uh, Rusty's been here 30 plus years, shop foreman. He's a man that can do it all, so he's a <laughs> big asset to the company and uh, he, he's the one that uh, makes the final say on things out in the shop for uh, engines. These are some of the blocks that just come in for some new engines that we're doing, getting ready to put together. So these will be the next ones that get taken into the back and head to the block department to get machined up and everything ready to go. So we've got some Brodix aluminum cast iron blocks for some pump gas street engines and for some top sportsman drag race engines, along with some 5.3 Hemi billet blocks and some uh, 5.3 wedge billet. This is our inventory section up here. Um, keep from crankshafts, blocks, um, push rods, gaskets, valves, anything you pretty much need to uh, put an engine together up front here. We uh, keep a little over a million dollars in inventory at all times up here, so most of the time people don't have to wait for parts that are uh, common. All the stuff we carry here is pretty specialized stuff, so it takes you know sometimes three or four weeks to get some of these parts. We try to keep a lot of that in, in stock ahead of time so people don't have to wait to, to get their parts or their engines back. That's about what we can tell you about our company, and we enjoy uh, dealing with other engine builders. We sell them cylinder heads, manifolds, or whatever, and we sell them a pieces or a complete engine kit. And uh, so that's why we have been pretty successful. We are versatile, and we design components. Cost me a lot of money, but. You know, it, used, it has paid for itself to, and then to be doing well in tractor, truck pull, and drag racing, and street high performance, and I'm a lucky person. Well, I take that back. I'm a fortunate person, and most of the time you make your own fortune, so thank you very much.